Over 42 million people on the East Coast likely felt shaking from the magnitude 4.8 earthquake that struck New Jersey today. Now, the East Coast of the United States doesn't experience earthquakes very frequently, and the earthquakes that occur there are often quite small. So an earthquake like today's would be classified as something that's not very common, but also not unexpected. You can see that there is a very high seismic hazard along the West Coast where there is the active plate boundary, but there are also moderate seismic hazards along the East Coast. Even though the East Coast is isn't near an active plate boundary, the crust still has many old faults that can be reactivated, producing earthquakes. Now, what's particularly notable about East Coast earthquakes is just how extensive the shaking felt is. The rocks on the East Coast are old, cold, and dense, so they're more efficient at transmitting seismic energy. This means that a very large geographic area can experience shaking. Compare that to earthquakes on the West Coast, where the crust is younger and more fractured, and shaking doesn't extend for as great of distances. 